All right, what's up, everybody? It's the Outpost Unknown YouTube channel. We are live, Outpost Live, and we're going to talk about, I mean, we're a little late to the game. The movie's been out for a little while now, and most people have seen it, Made I think. Made a billion dollars. Yeah, it's doing well. It's doing well. It's uh, Deadpool and Wolverine. We're, we're here. We're going to talk about it. Um, I definitely liked it. I, I was waiting for one of these other guys to like, you know, the twist was going to be that like one of us actually didn't like it or something, but I think we all liked we it. We should quite have got a bit. Matt to watch it. Yeah. Matt, yeah. Matt didn't like either of the other two Deadpool movies. Matt, they Matt don't seem, the they don't seem like Matt kind of things, you know, and that's not right or wrong. It's just, I would have been more interested to hear his take on it because he very famously does not like comedy. Yeah. And while all the Marvel movies are kind of action comedies, like Deadpool, leans a lot harder into the comedy aspect than other marvel movies do yeah uh, i don't want to talk about my friend while he's not here but like he doesn't like uh uh the comedy stuff and he doesn't like the r-rated superhero stuff he likes his superhero stuff to be a little more like uh yeah like the example he'd always give was like i'm watching jessica jones and the show is just about her hooking up with luke cage or whatever like it's not like what i'm into what it's not what i want to see when i dial up you know i want to see spider-man the show's about her dealing with the trauma of the what the purple man yeah, did to her. what yeah. the fuck is wrong with him so. matt, matt just wants like <laughs> live action batman the animated series yeah like, pretty that much level yeah. of seriousness yeah. Okay, we're shitting okay. on our friend. We're okay, not enough. About <laughs> stop, stop the match. Let's keep shitting on him. What the fuck is his deal with not liking mustard or vinegar? What the fuck does he have against spice? Let's keep talking about this. Oh, mustard. How can you not like mustard? Let's talk about Deadpool. Okay, Deadpool. <laughs> Deadpool and Wolverine. Um, I saw this not exactly opening night, but like the Tuesday following. Uh, so, you know, it was out for a few days and, you know, the buzz was going. But I'm going to I'm gonna let Steve kind of try to organ heard these cats and take us through this lead the discussion steve good i have no idea how to, to lead a movie review okay uh so i'll, I'll guess i'll, I'll kind of give give my like uh what i thought uh going into it mm -hmm. i was yeah, let me say i i am a huge x-men fan mm -hmm. uh i've been i've been waiting for you know good x-men movies for basically since x2 came out you know 20 years ago um but, you know it, it was cool that you know Wolverine was going to be in this, and you know it was no secret that he was going to have his comic accurate costume. But I have hit extreme superhero movie burnout. Totally. So I was Same. not excited for this movie whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Like this is this is something that I should have been into. Like I should have been, you know, there on opening night, but I wasn't. I waited like two weeks to, to see this, and I only saw it because it, it, we decided, you know, hey, let's do a review of it for the channel. Uh, so I went into this with with no hype whatsoever. So yeah. so what about you two? What were your feelings pre uh, seeing the movie? Well, I fully expected it to be good because I saw the first one and the second one, and I thought those were both a lot of fun. I also, you know, back in the day, I was a Deadpool fan. I always liked the character, even when he was, you know, he became, you know, as time went on, he became what he is now. He wasn't always exactly that that uh, over the top, uh, but I always liked the character. I liked the previous movies. I fully expected this to be good, but I also, like you, I'm super burned out. I'm super disillusioned with um, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Most of what they put out now is bad. It's it's overdone. I don't know how they really ever come back for or, or make things better or more interesting than Endgame was. That was such a good, you know, ending to a pretty solid series of movies. And now it's just like it's time to be done with this. So I I while I expected this to be good, I'm so over the superhero stuff that I was not super excited about it. Ronan. Uh, I famously don't get hyped for anything anymore. Mm -hmm. Nothing makes me go, oh man, I can't fucking wait to go see. Yeah, I yeah. don't have that feeling for anything anymore. Nothing. You just, you, you've been kicked in the dick too hard. Like once, once Mass Effect 3 kicks you in the dick at five in the morning, <laughs> you, you, you get over the hype. But, uh, I, the, I did see this, not like literally Thursday opening day, but I uh -huh. saw it Friday cause okay. I was off that Friday. Right saw it in a theater full of people. Uh, I was yeah, it was a, it was a good experience. I'm not like super over all the like I'm just I'm more over like the bad stuff. You can kind of yeah. tell by looking at the Marvel movies when they come out. Like uh, I don't need to see Ant Man. That looks fucking dumb. I don't mm. need to see I, I don't need to see you know Eternals. That looks fucking dumb. <laughs> so I, so I'm, I won't say I hit, I've hit that level of fatigue with it. But I was I was definitely looking forward to this just to say okay, well this is is this going to be how they fully introduce X Men 
mutants into the Marvel universe. Uh, no, that is not what that is not what this a- actually does. But it, it's it's nice what it does too. Yeah, I, Ron, you make a really great point there, where you said that like you could tell by looking at the trailer for Eternals or like the the commercial for Ant Man that you're like, you know what? I think I'll just skip this one. See, that's where you're wiser than I am because I screwed up and I watched all of those movies. I went and saw Madam Web at the theater. You guys. Um, what so, the f- hey, fuck hey, is wrong with you? It was you? like a it was like a psychological torture experiment that I ran on myself. But uh, your point is well made that like maybe you're not you're not gonna hurt your you're not gonna burn yourself out and melt your brain if you just use some judgment and choose not to go see Madam Web and choose not to go see the Eternals or what you know take your pick. So you're you're that's probably the the right strategy. I'm gonna have to take a page from your book. I think we've. I feel like most people. Is there anyone really that that treats new Marvel stuff as like you know must see things? I know I can tell I you like so. from from Iron Man one until uh, Far From Home, which is pretty much you know that entire series there. Mm-hmm. Uh, like I saw everything in the theater. I think maybe with the exception of the first Ant Man movie, and I wanted to see that one. It just I just didn't have the time at the moment. Yeah. But it was like every time a new Marvel thing hit the market like i was there for it and mm-hmm. in game and far from home kind of like into that like okay right this story is complete it's time to move on now i am i'm very picky about what i watch yeah. there's i've seen since then i have uh not watched uh or the number of things that i have not watched from marvel is much greater than the things i have sat through mm-hmm. uh and like i said this was something that i was planning on not skipping but uh, waiting for it to hit streaming, so yeah. I, I was curious about it. But man, it just the, the 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 trailers for it did not overcome my fatigue for this type of thing. Uh, so I was going to watch it eventually, and the only reason I saw it like now was because we we wanted to talk about it. Yeah, uh, and I'm glad I did because I ended up loving this movie. Mm-hmm. So just w- without like digging super deep into the plot, um, you know, uh, the I guess the, the setup is. Now Deadpool is a part of the MCU uh, uh, multiverse. You know, it's yeah. not it's not taking place in the same world that Endgame and all those other movies took place in. It's just another Earth in the multiverse, and uh, Deadpool gets told by a member of the TVA, which is the group that the Loki series introduced, that uh, hey, your universe is dying. Um, Hugh Jackman's Wolverine is such this is very like fourth wall breaky, right. uh, but but also like they tried to like make this an actual thing going on in the world here. Yeah. Uh, but uh, like Wolverine is such an integral part of your universe's identity that when like Wolverine was killed off, uh, your entire universe is just going to cease to exist. Uh, but uh, someone like a nameless person, like way above us uh, has decided that you Deadpool and you alone will be rescued and brought to uh, you know the sacred timeline. Mm-hmm. Uh, Deadpool says, no, thank you. I'm going to find a way to uh, to rescue my timeline. Uh, at first, he thinks that he just needs to find a, a new Wolverine. And so he uh, goes to other universes. And there's tons of callbacks to like famous yeah. X-Men comics. That was kind of cool. Uh, but eventually he finds uh, short, the one short Wolverine. Wolverine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the comic accurate Wolverine is great. Uh, Wolverine in the comics is like 5'3". Uh, he is not, you know, a huge Ackman size. Uh, but he eventually finds a Wolverine that doesn't immediately try to kill him, as the rest of them do. Uh, brings Wolverine, brings this Wolverine back, and uh, is like, hey, cool, we got a replacement Wolverine. Leave my, leave my timeline alone. Uh, that, of course, does not work. And then the, the TVA guy is like, are you stupid? Like, why did you think you could just get another Wolverine? Like, we never told you that was a thing that you could do. Right. Uh, <laughs> but the, the, the TVA guy is finally like, look, man, I, I gave you a chance. Like, I you could have come and lived in the sacred timeline. You were choosing not to. Now I will just you know, banish you to the void, which is another concept from the Loki series. If you have not watched the Loki series... Uh, this movie is going to make even less sense to you because a lot of this, I disagree. Of this... I've never watched any episode of Loki, and I was able to keep track with this very well. So I right, hard well, disagree. I've never seen Loki. I guess if you I just say... if you just kind of say like, well, they're time cops or something, like you're like, okay. Well, there's a lot of concepts in this movie that are introduced in Loki. Uh, according to Ronan, it did a good enough job of explaining it on its own without you needing to see Loki. 
But there is a, a just a void where people that get erased from timelines go and wait to just be eaten by the time dragon, which is a thing that that, that uh, you've got to deal with for this movie. Uh, it, it, the movie p- spends like a significant amount of time in this void universe uh, where uh, Deadpool and Wolverine try to escape to protect their timeline. And when I'm, uh, that, uh, I think I, I've been as vague as I can be without yeah. starting to like really dig into uh, plot points. And I don't want to spoil a whole hell of a lot. Yeah, um, I think I'll try to refrain, restrain myself from doing too much spoiling because you know what I really appreciated. And now, granted, I wasn't on the internet a lot, like looking up reviews or looking up people's reactions and stuff. But, uh, when I went and saw this movie, I was surprised by, there was tons of things that were surprises to me that I didn't know about and they did not get spoiled for me. You know, whatever I did to avoid looking at stuff, uh, I don't think anything in this movie was spoiled for me when I went and saw it, even sort of, I don't know, five days after it came out. So I want to preserve that for other people too, I think. So they've had two weeks. Fuck them. (laughs) Yeah, Ronan's, Ronan's just going to spoil whatever. Fair, okay. Uh, no, I, I, so, so, all right, so uh, we, we've given a general, you know, plot synopsis. Like, what did you guys think of the movie? Like, I went in not caring, and I came out thinking that this is probably, like, one of my favorite Marvel things mm-hmm. that they have ever produced. Like, I loved this from start to finish. I thought it was great. I think it was highly entertaining, and it wasn't, like, doing anything obnoxious or stupid that I, that got in the way of it being entertaining i guess um yeah i was just uh all the other movies there's something about them there's something in there like you know i finally watched thor love and thunder the other day and i actually liked it i didn't think it was nearly as bad as i'd heard because i avoided it in the entire time it was out but you know i have disney plus so we pulled it up uh and i found that entertaining i liked it but it does do the, it's like so silly in a lot of places. Like there's, there's always, even if it's good, there's just something about it. That's a little off. Like Waititi was not kept on a leash and yeah, got real yeah, fucking yeah, crazy in that movie. Yeah. And not obviously to compare it to Deadpool, which is obviously very silly as maybe makes me look silly, but you know what I mean? There's nothing in this. That's like the big, you know, Achilles heel that makes you be like, Oh, this movie would be great. Except they had to, do such and such. No, it, this doesn't have anything like that in it for me. And I was just, I was just purely entertained the whole time. And I thought it was great. I was more surprised by what the movie actually, because I kind of mentioned it earlier. It's like as to what this movie actually is. My my original thought was okay. Well, this is how they're going to like. This is how Deadpool and the X Men are going to you know more or less get brought into the MCU, and that's not what this movie is. They this movie yeah. did not need to be made at all because what this movie is, is this is Kevin Feige's soft spot for like the X like for the Fox X Men verse like because mm-hmm. that's where Kevin Feige got his start. If I'm not mistaken correctly, he was just like you know a random producer on those movies who really loved comics and. You know, he kind of progressed from there into being, you know, God and King of the Sacred Timeline. Mm-hmm. But, uh, like, th- 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 this movie is, uh, th- that's what this movie is, is just, like, a love letter to all those, like, stray, like, you know, not just the X-Men. Like, you know, we, if we want to try and limit the spoilery stuff, there are callbacks and send-offs to other Fox, you know, to other Fox Marvel properties, mm-hmm. and one that's not like a Marvel property who I was genuinely surprised to see in this movie, mm-hmm. but uh, like it's, it's callbacks to them and it's giving them that le- just before they get their big reboot, you know, like a, a, a recast or redone or whatever in the MCU for the people who did like it. This is, this is, get, this is tipping the hat to the movies that came before that allowed the MCU to have its opportunity to run with the ball. It's like, you know, without, mm-hmm. without the X-Men movies or without, you know, without Blade, without Daredevil. I'm surprised there's no ghost, like a Nick Cage ghost rider oh, in this movie. That's but, what we're missing. But, but I, from what I have seen, okay, rumor was like that, the movie. <laughs> well, like rumor was is that he was supposed to be in mm. this, but I've also heard like he was okay. Well, he wasn't going to be in this one. They were going to bring him into like, uh, the Kang Dynasty movie, uh, but I have no clue that that that's all like random. That's I think that's all just people making up their own fantasy you know, booking for what the you know, Kang right. Dynasty was supposed to be. But yeah, like it because like that's and despite the fact that this is playing in the X like the Fox X Men universe, which 
timeline wise made no fucking sense and didn't like it just was completely ass fucked backwards when first class came out good of a movie as first class is it completely ruins the continuity of the fox x-men timeline and like but this movie is like yeah we're gonna like fuck it we're gonna honor all of that and give all of that stuff one final send-off before i you said you i want to say before we kind of move along and move, mm-hmm. move on from hugh jackman wolverine and all but you know they're not I mean, like, yeah, this movie's making too much money, and exactly has Deadpool concerts. They're going to make him do this till he's 90. Yeah. That's, it's, yeah, it's, that's more or less, yeah, it's like, this, that's what's going to happen. <laughs> I like your point about the send-offs and stuff, Ronnie, because it, watching it, uh, all those things that pop up and those characters that pop up, none of them felt to me like stupid member berries. Like, Star Wars does member berries all the time, like... We yes, gotta, we got to throw some robot in the background so that everybody can point at it and be like, oh, remember that guy? Uh, remember the, the you'll be dead guy? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, this didn't feel like that when they when these uh, characters and cameos and Easter eggs and stuff popped up. It all felt like, I don't know, sort of respectful is too hard, to uh, strong a term, but like, you know, lovingly uh, endearing. Uh, yeah, endearing. There you go. I, I, I agree with that. Like the. I, the, the there's there's a lot of callbacks to other movies and it, it felt like it was not it was not there for just like a like a cheap pop for a wrestling term yeah uh, it did feel like very respectful like these with one exception like you know these these characters were there to kind of like put a cap on their stories to an extent rather than be jokes but that is probably if if i have any criticism of this movie it's like not of the movie itself, it's just of when it came out. Like at mm-hmm. this point, I mentioned this in the Discord. Uh, this is like the sixth or seventh movie that I've seen that fits this mold. Like uh, the various, or the, even TV shows and animated shows that just have all of these. So much of its identity is like callbacks to other yeah. things. Like mm-hmm. there was an Arrowverse, Crisis on Infinite Earths adaptation. Uh, they just did a new animated one. Uh, Spider-Man No Way Home did this. Doctor Strange 2. This mm-hmm. is this a uh, uh, part of this movie, even though this is the best version of this movie. But this movie still is, you know, hey, remember those other things we did part yeah. eight. Yeah. Uh, so I feel like I love this movie. I would have loved it more if it had come out like three years ago. Yeah, that's a fair point. And like also with comic books, they're always we kind of can't admit it to ourselves if you're a comic book fan, but they're just always constantly doing the same thing over and over. Like they have the to status be. quo effect is how I always yeah, refer yeah, to it. They no have no to matter be. what, it, it can change for a little bit, but everything will go right back to the way it was. To yeah, the status quo. Because otherwise, all these characters would be like 130 years old. Like we understand that Spider-Man's not, you know, still that I'll age. Batman's time. not still. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. I, I, I think probably the the best thing that I could say about this movie is I want to watch it again. Like yeah. I for a long time I was a huge comic book movie fan. But comic book movies are very formulaic. Mm-hmm. Like it, 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 you know, they they follow a pattern, you know, uh a person gets their powers, person struggles lose their struggles to learn to use their powers. And they lose their final fight. Then they learn to use their powers. Then they beat the bad guy. Like it is very rare. I will go back and watch like some of the older Marvel stuff from mm-hmm. from start to finish. Like if I want to, if I want to, uh, I don't know, if I want to revisit even like the the first uh, Spider Man movie. Like I'm probably just going to watch like the last thirty minutes of that film because I don't I don't need to see the origin story again. I yeah. just kinda, I just want the good parts. Uh, Wolverine and Deadpool. This is something that I, when I watch this again, because I will, I will gladly pop this in from start to finish, which is not something that I can say for a good chunk of the MCU, including the movies that I have previously enjoyed. Like I yeah. can't wait to watch this again. I might go see this in the theater again in the next week or two. Yeah, I, I could definitely see myself going again. It's it's just so entertaining and like seldom do we get a movie that's just pure entertainment and maybe i'm picking the wrong movies but uh it's like I don't yeah know, you like, saw madam uh, webb you picked the yeah, wrong yeah, movie. yeah yeah maybe it's madam still, webb no, is a to be fair show there, like no, i don't know why you want like that that is a show for steve cast not I, for going into the theater I, I was morbidly curious it was i mean like 
Yeah. And it, it was as bad as everyone says it was. So. <laughs> I don't know. Seems like we all like it. I, there, I, I, we, I don't want to spoil anything. Yeah, so I, I guess. I don't, don't, don't want to like really belabor this. So I guess, yeah, we, it seems like we all loved it. Uh, mm-hmm. Maybe when, uh, when Matt eventually sees this, we'll get him on to have. I think that would be his, interesting uh, his... to get the, to get the sort of non, cause we're all just kind of, you know, big time fans of it you know it'd be it'd be interesting to get the the alternate view contrarian opinion yeah the contrarian is what he opinion. will provide for yeah. us yeah, yeah. yeah i can already final, I, I can mentally I picture some of his comments already <laughs> ronan final thoughts on deadpool and wolverine seems like everybody enjoyed it but, but but wrap it up here how did you feel i felt good after after watching it it also uh i will spoil uh for folks there's no stinger <laughs> there's, good I am There's... done with stingers. Like I refuse to sit in the credits for stingers anymore. Like if I, I will leave the movie when the credits like start, I might wait like a minute for like the mid credit stinger, but I will not stay through like six minutes of credits. Now, I will I... go home. I will Google, is there a stinger? And then I will watch it online. I went and I was getting up. I went with my friend and I was getting up to leave because I because Ronan had said there's no stinger. Someone had told me there's no stinger. I'm like, good. I hate stinger. I'm with Steve. I don't like stingers. But then my friend was like, no, no, wait, wait, wait. And then we had a scene after the credits at ours. No, they're, we, they're like, no, I, what's after the credits, what's during the credits is like, you know, fucking Green Day starts playing, like, another turning point. Right, and it's right, like right. behind the scenes footage from right. like X1 to. Yeah, yeah there, there's uh, a montage of, the, of yeah. Fox's Marvel movies. Right. There's and not like a stinger, as in. There was something after that. that I didn't see it. Uh, and I don't care. It's okay. I, it's sat, I sat through the yeah. I about to say the first time I saw this movie, I sat through all of it because I was like, okay, well, is there anything? Nothing. Nothing. All right. Well, well okay. No, we'll talk, yeah, no, we'll no, talk no, about Jeff, What did you see? No, no, no. Spoil okay. It. So after it. they, there's a, a human torch gag after the movie. No. Okay. Explain right. it. I didn't see it. Okay. So what the the I thought the human torch thing was super funny in the movie, um, and then. Uh, when Deadpool's talking to the ruler of the wasteland and he's like throwing human torch under the bus, he said this, he said that, he, he said all these things about you. And the guy's like, no, I didn't. Human torch is like, no, I didn't. I didn't at all. And then the stinger that I saw at the move, end of the movie is Deadpool like shows up and starts talking to the audience and he says, okay, I'm going to get so much crap for this because I people are going to think I you know, threw this guy under the bus. So he pulls up this security camera footage of like them riding in the cage on their way and like human torches with him in the cage. And he says all the things that Deadpool told the person that he said. So Ronan is lying to us about there being no stinger. I don't know. My theater uh, had a stinger. We can't, we I can't sat trust through, anything. I sat through all of this. Can't trust anything. Ronan says he is a liar and a charlatan. Uh, don't believe him. I trust Jeff <laughs> on this Ronan. Good, sir. Your, your lies are not appreciated on this show. You know, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he got like the alt- it's like when you go and see Clue, right? And every reel has a different ending on it. Yeah, yeah. In my theater, Freddie won the fight between yeah, Jason. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly like that. But I, I guess my, my, my turn now. Like I thought, yeah, go for I, it. Go for okay, it. Okay. I thought the movie was highly entertaining, uh, super fun. I feel like I don't know. It's you know, again, we've established that I have poor judgment. I go see things like Madam Web. I saw the Marvels. I mean, you know, let's let's. I watched Ant Man three. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, I haven't seen Ant-Man 1. <laughs> I saw Ant-Man 3. It's pretty bad. Ant-Man 1, actually, I will go to bat for. I think that one's pretty good. Um, the others you can take or leave. But, yeah, the movie's just highly entertaining. It's There's there's no uh, there's no guile. I mean, obviously, it's very R-rated. I don't think I would take my 13-year-old to this. Maybe I, it depends on if, if their mother's around or not. But, like, uh, you know, it's, it's for an adult. I can't take my little cousins or my kids and stuff to this. But... It's an yeah, no, movie. this movie it's is excessively violent, and I yeah. enjoyed it. Yeah, I, I thought it was great. Great fun. Deadpool Wolverine, good time. Gets a thumbs up from all three of us. Uh, maybe at some point we'll get Matt on to discuss yeah. his, his, his incorrect opinion. <laughs> uh, thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching. Go see Deadpool and Wolverine. That's it. Yeah. Cut. We're done. Bye. <laughs>